In this screencast, I'm going to discuss uh, the, the issue of deciding between whether a particular integral is of type 1 or type 2. And here's the kind of question you'd be asked. You're asked to evaluate this double integral, function uh, x times y, over a domain. And the domain, you're told, is bounded by the straight line and this parabola. Well, you're told just functions, linear function and quadratic function. Um, so you're going to have to work out what the, the limits of integration are, and ultimately you're going to have to decide between a type 1 or a type 2 integral. Again, I don't want to focus so much on the terminology, but you are going to, the idea is you're going to have to work out whether you want to integrate first in x or first in y. In any case, the thing to do is first get a handle on what the, the region omega looks like. That's the key thing here. Actually, even before starting, a pl well, I'll start a plot here, but you're going to need to do a little bit of algebra before um, working very much on your plot. Th this curve is easy. This, this is just a straight line with uh, intercept minus 1, so we can, we can draw that rather quickly. In fact, to make sure it's absolutely straight, I'm going to do it this way. The thing is, it has to have slope. Yeah, that's good. It has to have slope 1 and intercept minus 1. All right, so that's, um, that's my, what, one of my bounds. Now, for the other one, uh, if it were me, I would write it, uh, um, I know this parabola is opening, uh, uh, opening to the right, but I would prefer to write this, so this is a little side calculation, I'd solve for uh, x in terms of y and write it as x is equal to y squared over 2 minus 3. I would also work out, then uh, Then I can see better uh, that it's, um, this, this parabola is going to go through minus 3 here. That's about minus 3. The other thing I'd do is I'd work out, uh, that's the, the vertex of the parabola there, when, when y is 0, x will be minus 3. The other thing I would like to work out is the intersection points between between these and for this, what I would do is just solve the linear equation, write it as um, give me x in terms of y is y plus 1, substitute that into the quadratic equation to give me, so give me y squared minus 2y uh, minus 8, you can do that uh, equals 0, and you can find that the roots are y is equal to 4 and minus 2. And then from that you can work out x is simply uh, 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 shifted up one, so that's five and minus one. Anyway, so we'll get these uh, these intersection points on here. Label them. So this will be minus two up there. Uh, that looks right, and then this one will be up here someplace. Go over five or up four. One, two, three. Four. Well, I can't quite make it. I'll go all the way to the end. Maybe a little passing there. I didn't spend so much time on that, but that's really what you'd have to do, I think, to get this drawn pretty well. Let's cut it off there. All right, so that's my region omega. So you do a little bit of algebra, you get your region omega. And then what you see is, hopefully you can now see this clearly, this is, could be either of type 1 or of type 2. Let me just draw some lines on there. That is to say, I can, for any for any x, didn't label my x, but I will, for any x, for any x, I can go uh, unobstructed over a range of y. And that's true for any x that I happen to choose here. Or here, I'll take them all off back off in a minute. Or here, all right. So that's uh, that in itself isn't really a problem. What the problem is, let me take those off of there. The problem is these this uh, this lower bound, which you're going to be integrating uh, between now, is this the uh, the y value for this particular x is going to be if you just solve for this. You'll have that y is equal to minus the square root of two x plus 6, I believe that's correct, yeah. Whereas here, I'm going to have a completely different functional form. Here, I'm going to have y is equal to x minus 1. Again, that's, that's this expression. So I change over, over this region of x, for x, is, um, for x is between minus 3 and minus 1, I'm going to have a certain lower bound. And for x uh, above that, I'm going to have a different lower bound. So I really don't want to integrate. I really don't want to take, treat this as a type 1 interval, basically, is the message there. Um, I could do it in principle, but I will have kind of a messy situation where I have to break my, uh, my lower limit up into two, two different pieces. Whereas as you I hopefully can see that if I do it as a type 2 integral, that's to say if I um, integrate for each y, I imagine integrating across an x, let me try and drive a little straighter, then uh, I don't have this problem. The, the functional forms of the beginning and end of my x range are always the same. And they're given by, let's turn this off. They're given by here. Now I have to solve for x in terms of y. So this will be x is equal to y plus 1. 
So I solve for this x in terms of y, and I have to solve for x in terms of y here. So that's the calculation I actually already did. That's x is equal to y squared over 2 minus 3. All right, and that's true everywhere along this lower curve. I mean, this, this curve, the lower range of x. And this expression is true everywhere along this curve, the upper range of x. All right, so now I can write down my, uh, my region omega. Again, you wouldn't, if you weren't asked to do this, you might begin to um, skip over this first part here where I write, uh, write all this, but then I'm going to write the range. Now, in this case, I'm going to write the range of y first. So we, we should say that. So what is y? What is the range of y? That's the first thing you have to do. So that's the upper bound of y, and this is the lower bound. Well, good thing we already worked them out. Um, so the lower bound here of y is uh, minus 2. So y will be between minus 2 and the upper bound we worked out is 4, 4. And then we have to give the range of x is for each y, the lower bound here will be y squared over 2 minus 3. That'll be the lower range of x that we integrate across. We integrate across to x is equal to y plus 1. That looks good. So that then in kind of full detail is uh, how I worked out what the, re uh, the region omega is. I decided I should go with a type 2 region where right for the reasons I discussed and and there we go so I will go ahead and I'll, I won't do all the details of this integral because again the, the issue is geometry not uh, the integration but let's uh, let's do it now so this double integral I'm going to be equal to y will be on the outside I've, I just all I have to do is read off from this expression I no longer have to think just read off can't forget that x is on the inside y is on the outside Okay, again, I'm going to, um, I've done this calculation uh, on paper before, and I'm just going to copy certain bits down here. I have to do this inner integral first. It's actually quite a simple integral because, um, let's continue with, sorry. I'm integrating, I'm integrating with respect to x, so I just, that'll be an x squared over 2 times y. So that'll be x squared over 2 times y, and the limits are now a little bit uh, complicated. Not terrible, but there they are, dy. And now you have to substitute this. Oops, not into the not into y. So substitute that in for x, and then with the minus sign, you have to substitute that into x. So at this point, I will abandon doing all the details. What I get is one half integral from minus two to four. And when you expand that all out, collect powers, etc., you get minus y to the fifth over 4 plus 4y four cubed plus 2y squared minus 8y dy. We just have a quick look here. I'd rather correct it now than have to correct it later. Right. Okay, so then again, you can do that integral, and uh, you'll find that the answer is, I believe, 36. Let me know if you get something different. Okay, so that's it. So this is just... Um, just a discussion of uh, again, you know, you have a you have a domain. You have to you have to work out its geometry. You have to think about it. And you have to think about whether you're better off setting up as a type one or a type two integral. In this case, um, there was nothing really in the integrand. You just had x times y. There was nothing in the integrand to tell you which one would be preferred. Um, but the geometry certainly dictated that um, that it would be type two. The y integral would be on the outside.